Mount Aries Sunrise Service. Oh wait. <laughs> All right, well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I hope that everyone's having a, a good Easter Sunday, and it's a, uh, looks like it's, God's given us a great, great weather and a great morning to celebrate, so uh, we're so happy to be here, and uh, so we're going to start with singing some songs. I hope you got a sheet, and uh, we're going to start with singing, Lord, I lift your name on high. resurrection morning, Lord, just reach down and lay your hand upon each and one gathered here, that we, we truly reflect upon the events of this day in history, Lord, and that we will remember all the things that you've done for us in our lives, Lord, that we'll be willing to go out and spread the word, Lord, and tell others what you've done and what you will do for them. Just lead us through this sunrise service, just reach down and lay your hand upon those that are singing and and the message this morning, Lord, just be those who couldn't make it out. You know the reason? Just bring them safely back to Jesus' sweet and heavenly name. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Right there. We're going to sing Because He Lives. <coughs> Bye. 
um, sing um, He Lives. <coughs> chapter 24 we're going to read verses 1 through 12 and 36 to 45 on the first day of the week very early in the morning they came to the tomb bringing the spices they had prepared they found the stone rolled away from the tomb they went in but did not find the body of the Lord Jesus while they were perplexed about this suddenly two men stood by them in dazzling clothes so the, woman, the women were terrified and bowed down to the ground. Why are you looking for the living among the dead? Asked the men. He is not here, but he has risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee, saying it is necessary that the Son of Man be betrayed into the hands of sinful men, be crucified and rise on the third day. And they remembered his words. <coughs> Returning from the tomb, they reported all these things to the eleven and all the rest. Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them were, were telling the apostles these things. But these words seemed like nonsense to them, and they did not believe the women. Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb. When he stood to look in, he saw only the linen cloths. So he went away amazed at what had happened. As they were saying these things, he himself stood in their midst. He said to them, Peace to you. But they were startled and terrified, though they were seeing, thought they were seeing a ghost. Why are you troubled, he asked, and why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. That is, my, I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. Having said this, he showed them his hands and feet. 
So while they were amazed and in disbelief because of their joy, he asked them, Do you have something here to eat? So they gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. He told them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. Oh, he's saying, this is the greatest words ever spoken. He is, he is not here. He has risen. And uh, what an amazing morning that must have been to be there. And I just think, well, what did they see? What did they see when they came to the tomb? What were they expecting? Of course, the, uh, they didn't expect to see what they saw. But the ladies that came out there early in that morning on uh, Easter Sunday, still dark, and, uh, and when they got there, the, the stone was rolled away. It was, and the tomb was empty. So the first thing they saw is they saw the empty tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. They went in, but did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. So, so that's the first thing that happened. They saw an empty tomb. The second thing that happened was they saw the angels. Now, I don't know that the, the ladies realized where they were angels at the time but i think they've realized that after all this happened while they were perplexed about this suddenly two men stood by them in dazzling clothes so the women were terrified and bowed to the ground why are you looking for the living among the dead asked the man he is not here but he is risen the angels were there messengers from god to proclaim good news. Angels were there when Jesus was born. Now angels were there at his resurrection. Then the disciples came. Peter and John. The disciples didn't believe anything had happened. But Peter and John ran out ahead. They, they, Peter was uh, slower than John. And so John got there first. Then Peter <clears throat> got there. And he, he didn't stop at the, the door of the tomb. But he went on in. And he saw that the clothes, the linen clothes, were, were left there. You think about it, the linen clothes were put on Jesus. They were his death clothes. He no longer wore those clothes. He didn't need them anymore. He was alive. His body hadn't been moved. If that someone had moved his body, they would have kept the clothes with him, the cloths with him, and they didn't do that. Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb. When he stopped, he looked in. He saw only the linen cloths. So he went away amazed at what had happened. Still didn't know what had happened. Still didn't know what was going on. And then so the disciples were meeting in a room. They were all together. And all of a sudden, <coughs> Jesus appears amongst them. The risen Lord. As they were saying these things, he himself stood in their midst. And he said to them, Peace to you. Jesus had risen. Things have changed. The world has changed. There's a difference in what's going on in our world because Jesus has risen. Uh, <clears throat> at the time, these men were scared and hiding. But in just a few weeks later, they were out in front being bold and telling people about what Jesus had done and the risen Savior. And in... Uh, in, in our world today, Jesus is still risen. He's still the risen Savior. He's still one that we worship today. And so we need to make sure to tell the world and be bold about it to let people know that Jesus is risen. He is not here. The grave is still empty. And he is risen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for this day. We just thank you for all you've given us, Lord, for the, the love you show us, for, for what you've done for us. And Lord, this Easter morning, uh, it just seemed like everything in the world was, was hopeless. It seemed like uh, what was going on was, was, just, uh, it was just in a state of, of chaos and what these men had had followed and done for three years is no longer happening and and so 
the hope is gone. Everything is away. But on Sunday morning, you rose from the dead and everything changed. People believed. People wanted to follow you. People wanted to know who you were. The world was turned upside down because of you rising from the dead. But Lord, I thank you because you did this. I have hope. I have I can have the hope of that one day I can be with you in heaven and I can see you again and I can know you and and experience a life and eternity without pain. And Lord, I just thank you that you've given me that opportunity. Because I know my sins were great and they kept me away from you. But now because of the resurrection, my sins can be forgotten. And I can come to your throne boldly. Not as someone who is uh, guilty, but as someone who is your child. And I thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for Easter. Thank you for what it means. I know, Lord, that, that there are millions of people worshiping right now in different places and i just know that as a as a people that we should get together and be united to on this day knowing that you did it through raising yourself from the grave and i ask that uh, everyone would, re would remember that and that this would be a day of celebration across the world and i ask this all in jesus name Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for coming this morning. And uh, I look forward to seeing you at our church service.